So today is an awful, nasty, rainy day outside, but I decided to brighten my mood. I was going to do my favorite shoes of spring, since spring is technically here and it's been here for a while. Um, I wanted to share with you guys my favorite shoes to wear during spring. These are shoes that I've also had for like years, some of them years upon years, and some of them are very recent, but um, it's a mixture of the two, so um, if you want to buy these shoes, some of them aren't really available. A couple of the pairs are really available since I got them like two weeks ago. However, before I get into my favorite shoes, I wanted to let you guys know that my vlog channel is kind of starting something new where I'm going to vlog try to vlog every single day for a month, and it's going to be kind of a big goal for me. Um, so I started my first day today and the vlog is on my other channel around with a rose i don't know if you guys ever got into that channel i talk about all of the painful things i've gone through on easter and it's 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 quite a delight anyway go check out that and if you want to plug into my everyday vlogging thing go on there and you can watch me be my i don't know it's not a beauty vlog and necessarily it's just me talking about stuff that i think is funny anyway um, if you want to go subscribe to that channel, go ahead and have fun with that, and there will be a video on there every single day of this month, so, um, yeah, if you don't get to see enough of me on here, go check out that, because you will definitely see enough of me on there, and you will get sick of seeing my videos on there. So, um, I am going to talk about the shoes I love for spring, yay! Okay, so first pair, um, are a pair that I was actually wearing today, um, and they're from Gap, and I love sandals and anything that's open-toed for spring, because, I don't know. I'm just big into easy access on shoes, taking them off and on and stuff, especially if you're going to the beach and stuff. Um, but I got these shoes from Gap. You can see I've worn them down. It looks like this, for some reason, my, I don't heal on this side, but on this side I heal really badly, and then my toe is more worn on this one than that. I don't know. I must have freaky feet. But anyway, um, I got these shoes from Gap um, last year, I think, and they're just really, really cute. Um, they fit really well, and overall they've lasted me a lot. Of, um, they've lasted me through a lot of situations where you think that they would like tear up shoes um, The straps are really cute because they're bright green and I just I don't know I really like this color and the pattern and um, I love the like almost tortoiseshell um, Little bobbles right here. Anyway, they're just really cute sandals and I feel like every girl just Obviously needs sandals for spring since it's kind of just like the time that you wear sandals except for summer You can also wear them spring summer but, um, yeah, so I really like these, and they're just nice and springy, and I just like them a lot. So, that's the first pair I always wear. Second pair of shoes are wedges. Um, these wedges I actually wore for Easter this year, um, and they're like these wraparound wedges, and I got them for, from Forever 21. F -f 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 -f. From Forever 21, even though I heard you're not supposed to get shoes from Forever 21, I got these anyway because I really want to try them out, and I found out I love Forever 21 shoes, so I don't know what people are talking about. Um, I bet if you get, like, tighter shoes or, like, high heels that don't really have, like, straps on them or anything, they're just, like, a back and, you know, they've got backs on them, I feel like that would hurt your heel a lot and it would rub really badly back here, but for these, at least, they actually look pretty expensive, Forever 21, for Forever 21 shoes, and they're also really comfortable, so I highly recommend these, um, these are, I think, like $15, and I got them on the cheaps for sure, and they're really, really comfortable and just really cute, and I'm like 5'9", five, 5'10 five, in these shoes, which is awesome. Anyway, yeah, I really like these shoes. <laughs> really cute. I like the front, too, and I like the gold bottoms on them. I think it's just classy looking. Cute. Like but the next pair of shoes I love for spring are these right here. Um, I kind of am a big fan of leather shoes. I don't know if you guys have noticed that so far, but I've shown you, well, I've only shown you one pair of my leather shoes, but I have like 10 more that I have to show you guys. Um, but these in particular are really awesome because, first of all, they're from Forever 21, once again. Seriously, I don't know what it is about people telling you not to buy shoes from Forever 21 because I love Forever 21 shoes. But, um, they're strappy all the way up. I call them my Jesus sandals because I feel like Jesus wore these at one time. Um, and, I don't know, hopefully he walked Maybe I should try it out. No, I'm just kidding. That's blasphemous. Okay. I really, really like them. They zip up on the back, and they're just actually really comfortable and easy to run around in, and you don't have to worry about your shoes falling off if you're running around. And they're really, really cute. They make um, whatever you're wearing. You kind of have a statement piece. This is a good statement piece. It's very bold and eye-catching with all the straps and everything. So I really like this one. Really cute. Next favorite pair of shoes is another one that I got from 
from Forever 21. What is up with Forever 21 shoes in spring? I don't know why, but I keep tripping over the Forever 21. Why do I keep tripping over that? Forever 21, Forever 21, Forever 21. Okay, so these shoes are adorable. Um, I got these, once again, from Forever 21. And I actually still have the tag at the bottom of them. Um, they were called the Charis, Charis shoes. C-H-A-R-I-S. And they're an eight, and they were $25.80. Um, and that's really, really cheap for a good pair of shoes. And these did rub me a little bit right here at the tip. And actually, it's really weird. Like, I think it was, like, this middle strap rubbed my toe a little bit. Or maybe it was, like, down here somewhere. Anyway, it rubbed my toe a little bit. But um, I broke them in, and they've been fine now. The heel is manageable, which is really awesome if you don't like wearing super-duper high heels, but you want a little bit of extra height. This is not a very big heel, but it still isn't, like, a kitten heel, which I don't like kitten heels. So it's nice because it's not too small but not too big it's a good medium height heel and plus the straps are just super cute and the front is really intricate and i love it and once again it's open toed so you can show off like your pretty toenails so yeah i love these shoes they're great next favorite pair of shoes are actually a pair of shoes i got last week and i am in love with them um they're not really fashiony kind of shoes they're more like utility shoes but um to me they're incredibly fashionable and i love them and they are my chacos um yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Chacos before, but basically they're the most amazing outdoorsy shoes I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Um, yeah, at my school it's really, like, a lot of people wear Chacos. And um, basically they're just like these little shoes like this. You probably have seen them and I'm just kind of boring you. But um, they have straps all across them and then um, like a big strap right here. And you adjust the straps by taking out the slack and putting slack back into each of these individual straps. So they're all connected through this baseboard which is so super duper comfy and like wonderful. And you can go hiking in them and go do whatever you want. They're waterproof and they're just great. I don't know what they were called. I think they were called like marine green or something like that. Yeah, and normally with um, Chacos, the main, like, differing factor is it in them are the strap color and the baseboard color, and you can interchange each of them. And, like, if you ever break a Chaco, like this strap, you can go get them redone, the straps redone, for, like, $35 or something like that. Um, but these shoes are kind of expensive. They're, uh, um, with tax and everything, these were $102. Um, honestly, they were worth it to me, and they were also a birthday present for me, so I really like them. So if you want a pair of these... Get them for your birthday, maybe. Yeah. Once again, my birthday is May 3rd. Don't forget it. Um, these are my Tory Burch slats that I've had for about a year now. Um, and as you can see, I got like a little scuff on them right here. But um, they're really, really exciting. And I like these a lot. And they're very supple and leathery and wonderful. Um, but they're really great because the gold on this is kind of a nice shiny accent for uh, shoes. And normally I'm not big into wearing like majorly colorful crazy shoes. So having these is really nice because they give you a little bit of accent without going overboard. Plus brown goes with basically everything. It's really nice to have just basic brown leather flats because they just go with everything. So yeah, I really like these for spring as well and they're easy to throw on and they're really comfortable in a lot of jazz. All right, so my last favorite pair of shoes for this spring have been my American Eagle Gladiator flat shoes things that I got last year and they just kind of tied around your ankle and come down like this. And these are actually what Gladiator shoes look like, unlike these are like an upgraded version these are like the regular ones um these are just a tan leather with like a dusting of some gold in some places which i think is actually kind of cool um the base of it is so dirty nasty for my feet probably um but i just love these and they've been so durable really really girly outfit and i don't want it to go overboard sometimes i'll put these on with it like if it's a skirt and like a really frilly top i'll put these on on as my shoes so that they won't look so my outfit won't look overly girly. Anyway, yeah, so those are my other favorite shoes for spring. And yeah, so those are my favorite shoes for spring. Hopefully I can do my favorite accessories for spring. I think that'd be really cool since I actually have kind of an obsession with rings right now. I figure I could go over all my favorite rings and all my favorite earrings and hairbands and things like that because I'm obsessed with accessories. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you tune in next time. Don't forget to check out my vlog channel. Uh, link in the description box that's around with A-Rose and also I'll try to put a little annotation somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm really, really bad about linking stuff from my videos. So hopefully this will come through nicely. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.